Um, Khadija71 asks, are you planning on marrying your partner? Um, honestly, I don't have any plans to get married. Um, it's just not something that I really want to do, you know, it's just, yeah. And then she asked, uh, do you want any more children? And like I said previously, yes, I would love to have more children. Um, she asked, how was your pregnancy and birth experience? Oh, goodness. My, well, okay, with my son, I didn't, I did not, um, know that I was pregnant until I was 12 weeks, and, um, it's a really horrible story, but I was seeing somebody, they beat me up really bad, my face was just, like, ugh, bad, they, like, because they kicked me in my head, and, um, and I had a friend come and pick me up and take me to the hospital, and at the hospital, before they could give me pain meds, they said they had to do a pregnancy test, and I was like, okay, and, um, then they told me I was pregnant, so I was like, oh, goodness, and then for the next couple months, everything made me sick, like, I couldn't keep down nothing, and I lost probably about 20 pounds when I was pregnant, um, just because I couldn't keep anything down, and, um, you know, it was okay, I mean, yeah, my son was actually two weeks overdue, and so that was just, ugh, but I had a good, I mean, for the most part, I guess my pregnancy was okay, and stuff, and then when I had him, um, like, I had to have C-section, and when they took me in to have a C-section, they gave me epidural, and they thought they numbed me, and enough and apparently they didn't because when they started cutting I felt everything and I screamed to the top of my lungs and so they had to put me to sleep and I had him and yeah <laughs> that's a short version <laughs> but yeah it, it was a hard experience the birth but you know I, I made it through I'm here I'm alive and I would do it all over again just for my son um, okay, she asked, have you ever gone to your home country? Um, which is Mexico. Yes, it is. Um, I have never been to Mexico. Um, I would love to go one of these days, but I have never been there. Um, then she asked, have you always struggled with your weight from a young age or just as an adult? Um, yeah, when, when I was younger, I, you know, I've, I've always struggled with my weight. Um, I, I had some bad stuff happen to me as a kid, and it just really affected me, and the horrible relationship with my father has really affected me, so I turned to food, you know, at, at very young age. Um, do I speak any other languages? No, um, uh, poquito, espanol, but no, not really. <laughs> Um, okay, so Mrs. Shea asks, 11 asks, um, what is your favorite food? Well, I love anything sweet. I'm such a sweet tooth. I love sweet, sweet, sweets. Um, but other than that, I probably have to say french fries. Love french fries. Like, I can go without anything else, but give me some french fries. <laughs> Do I have any pets? No, um, we're not allowed to have pets here where I live, so I don't have any pets. And she asked, how did you meet your boyfriend? And I already answered that downtown at a convenience store. Um, and I've also answered this, how long have you guys been together? Um, I said 18 years. Okay, um, Prairie Princess 1, hey Tina, she asked, have you always lived in the town you're living now? If not, where are the places you have lived? Um, yeah, I've always lived here. I live in, it's like, it's called Aloha, Beaverton. Um, I've always lived in this area. Um, I lived in Portland for a very short time, maybe a couple years, but for the most part, I've always lived here, and I love it. I love it, this area. Um, do I... 
she asked, do you drink coffee? If so, what's your favorite coffee drink? I'm not really a coffee drinker. I used to love, love, love coffee. Um, I do occasionally like, you know, coffee. I don't really have a favorite coffee drink. Um, I like those frappuccinos, I guess they're called. Um, yeah, I love, you know, I, I love anything cold. Like, I don't like hot drinks. I, I'm not a not a tea person, not a hot coffee person, but if it's cold, I love it. I, yeah. And then she asked, what is your favorite time of year? Um, definitely Christmas because, um, my son is a Christmas baby. I love the, you know, just the excitement about Christmas and the tree and the holidays and, you know, my son was born on December 21st, so that's just a really happy time for me. Okay, last question is from Julie Wilson. Hey, Julie. Um, she asked, when did your love for Hello Kitty and Butterfly start? Well, you know, I, I think I've always liked Hello Kitty for the last, well, no, the last few years. Probably the last five years. But I've always loved, I've always had a love for butterflies, um, you know, and, and stuff. I just think they're beautiful, and I think it's, you know, um, they represent new life and stuff, and I just, I think they're beautiful and amazing, and no two butterflies are alike, and it's just, you know, I think they're the most beautiful thing in this world, so, um, and, uh, you know, Hello Kitty, I just love Hello Kitty, like everything, I have all kinds of Hello Kitty stuff, and I don't know, I just, all of a sudden, I just started really liking it, and started finding all kinds of Hello Kitty stuff, and I just love it, and one other thing that I really, really like is stuff like, um, I, um, I love unicorns, like, I have about, one, two, three pictures of unicorns, because I love unicorns, I love kind of like the fantasy kind of, um, I guess that's what you call it, like unicorns and fairies and that kind of stuff, I love, absolutely love and stuff, so anyway, well, that was 35 minutes long, and <laughs> anyway, I hope that um, you guys enjoyed hearing my answers, and my mouth is very dry, and I've been talking a lot, so, thanks for asking me, and, and I'm, I hope you enjoyed learning more about me, so, until next time, talk to you guys later, bye.